hey guys welcome back to the react native course in this video we are going to learn about how to build radio button in react native let's see so what we are going to like you know in the web technology in the web browser we have like you know in this html we have radio button but in the react native we don't have a radio button to use the uh, or to build the radio button in react native or uh, for your app you have to use some packages or you have to build it your own by yourself okay so how we can make radio button so by like you know by using the touchable opacity and the text we are going to build a radio button with a custom react uh, radio button okay if you want to use some packages so you can use some packages but uh, this uh, tutorial will help you how to think logically and how to make button radio button custom people usually lastly ask in the interview so let's see so first let's me you know this is the last video which we have coded to so i'm going to remove the whole code and i'm going to create a new component by typing just command rnfes okay now let's see so now let's style the uh, radio button so to style this what we have to do let me you know uh, make the container quickly style dot container so you know for this like you know while we also gonna maintain the state whatever the user click so let's see so i'm going to you know make the flex is one so whenever we define as a flex is one so it will take the whole width so basically this view take the whole screen view okay perfect now after that uh, what i have to do i have to type uh justify content center my batch justify justify content center so it will you know vertically vertically it will make this uh the curtain in the center and let me make the uh, horizontally center so what i have to type align items center okay so it will make the center after that let's create a button so radio button how we can create i'm gonna add a one view okay inside that i have to make a one round circle so how we can make uh let me show you uh this will be style styles dot radio radio button okay now after that if i want to style this let me style this quickly so i'm going to give some height as a 40 with as a 40 also with okay and after that i'm going to give a border width of one now we can see that we are getting one you know square on the uh on the screen now to make this circle how to how to make the circle things so basically we have to define called bother with property and we have to give 20 percent like you know 50 percent of the height and width so the 50 percent of the height and width will be 20 okay so whenever i keep a 20 so you can see that uh, nothing goes on a uh, border width not sorry border radius my bad not body width to make the things circle we have to give border radius my bad so you can see that we can get a round circle now after that we are to gonna show one text also uh option one okay now you can after that you can see that this item is coming on the below the radio button what i want to suppose to be it should come you know in a one direction like in a row direction so let me style that also so after that you can see this okay and i'm gonna define as a styles dot uh, radio wrapper okay it will wrap that and let me style this okay and display as a flex and let me define the flex direction as a row and let's see you can see that this items comes in row direction and let me you know give some align items center so all the items will get into the center awesome now let's give some space also justify okay let it leave it okay so you can see that there is one option but what i want to what i also want like when we use a click on that we have to show a highlight button so let's also create view so for that what i have to do inside this you know this border we have to create another view and uh, like this and after style like styles dot styles dot selected selected and after that 
I have to just write a style called background color as a red and if I give flex one property so it will take the whole width and the height whatever the parent has okay so if you type we can type height and width like this at the place of flex one that both works that's up to you what you want to write but and after that we have to type border radius border radius will be 20 okay now to make the code simpler i'm just removing the height and width and i'm going to use as a flex one so basically it will whenever we define a flex one so it will take the parent width okay now after that what i have to type uh, i have to give some margin as a five so you can see that this uh, went inside the circle awesome so this is how we make the uh, you know a normal radio button and let's add a one touchable opacity touchable opacity so i'm going to add a touchable opacity oh touchable opacity okay and inside this we are gonna show like this okay so you can see that whenever we have added one touchable opacity and we have to also handle on press event we'll handle it later okay now uh, let's create another touchable opacity button option 2 so i'm just copy pasting this code again okay you can see that okay awesome now what i want that uh let's give some space okay let's leave it if you want to give some space uh let me give some space uh okay leave it now after that let's make this options too okay now you can see that like both uh duty button is selected but what i have to do let's make the functionality const selected set selected initially no button will be selected okay let's initially let will be the option will be selected option one okay now if selected value is equal to this one uh like this so you have to go inside this and i will tell that if selected value is equal to one then then you have to show this uh you know selected uh, style otherwise don't show this view okay same we're gonna do for this uh for this one also for option two if selected value is equal to two uh is equal to two then you have to show this else don't show show anything and we have to just format the code okay and let's make it like double equal to okay currently you can see that we have defined a state as a selected one as a one so you can see that the option one is selected if you define as a two so you can see that the option two will be selected perfect now if we make as a null so you can see that no item will be selected okay now let's in uh, make a state so whenever you user click on the first button so i'm going to update select selected is a my bad okay set selected is a one and same for the second one if set selected will be two okay now let's click on this option one awesome you can see that this is how we can build a custom uh, radio button in react native okay so this is the things which we have learned you can try with the how to build checkbox and other component in the next video we are going to talk about dynamic radio button basically what is dynamic radio button we're gonna have we're gonna create a new array and we just loop the array loop the item array items to the react to the uh, radio button and we will show that okay and uh, yeah thanks all uh, see you in the guys next video thank you bye